I will use this example to explain test for independence. In the example, uh, a, ran a simple random sample of 120 marbles is classified according to their color and size. And the result is listed in the following table. So the table just lists the frequency. Is the color of a marble independent of its size? So basically in this uh, problem, and we have two variables. Okay, so color and size, right? And so the uh, what the sam sample or subjects are classified according to the levels of color and size. So we, we just want to know so why, where the color and the size are independent. So for this uh, type of a problem, so again, and uh, so uh, basically what we need to, uh, the statistic is calculated as the summation of uh, observed minus expected square uh, over expected. Okay, so this is called a Pearson's chi-squared statistic. Uh, to calculate, so what is observed? Yeah, so this table is observed. So basically means observed frequency. So just uh, what uh, the data you have. So now let's show how to calculate uh, expected. For this one, expected, so basically you expect uh, to get a similar table. Mm, let me draw like this. You expect it to get a similar table. So you have orange, you have blue, uh, you have small, you have medium, you have large. Okay, so, you, so now uh, let's see how to get expected uh, frequency. To get expected frequency, so first uh, we want to uh, calculate the uh, row sum and column sum uh, from the observed frequency. So what is row sum? Row sum just means, see, uh, this row, you calculate the sum of them. You can see, so 6 plus 16 plus 4, so equal to 26. And so then you calculate this sum, right? And so you got uh, 41 plus uh, 36 plus 17, you got uh, 94. Okay, so then you calculate column sum, see, 6 plus uh, 41, you got 47, uh, 16 plus uh, 32, you got 52, and so 4 plus 17, you got 21. And so the total, total is 120, right? Yeah, so you can write down uh, the row, total, column, total, basically in this table. 100, 100, okay. So then how to get each cell? See, for example, so if we want to get the, the small orange, so what's the expected frequency? Expected frequency will be row total times column total divided by total. See, uh, for the small orange, so the row total is 26. Column total is 70, I mean 47. Total is 120. See, let's explain this again. See, what is 26? Here, uh, row total. What is 47? Down here, column total. What is 120? Here, this is the total, right? So similarly, so we can do, uh, let me re erase it first. So similarly, we can uh, fill in uh, the blank for the other cell. So like a small blue, we use row total, 94, times column total, uh, 47, divided by total, 120, okay? For this uh, medium orange, okay, so the row total, 26, times column total, 52, uh, divided by 120. And uh, for medium blue, uh, 94 times 52 over 120, okay? So this is 46 times 21, divided by 120. And uh, this is 94 times 21, divided by divided by 120, yeah. So now, basically for each cell here, so is the uh, expected frequency, right? So then uh, to get the chi-square statistic, right? 
So basically, we use observed frequency divide, uh, minus expected frequency squared and then divided by expected. Okay, so observed frequency for each cell, so this is 6, basically uh, corresponds to small orange, right? So expected, uh, so this is uh, observed minus expected. So 226 uh, times 47 over 120 square divided by expected. Mm, no. So uh, 26 times 47, right? See, so this 6 is here, right? So this is observed frequency. This one is here, so this is expected frequency. And the denominator is also expected uh, frequency, right? So we calculate this for the first cell, so then we calculate uh, for the remaining cell. So for medium orange, uh, observed is uh, 16 minus observed, I mean expected is 26 times 5220 square, 26 times 52 over 120. So then do the same plus uh, observed 4 minus uh, 26 times 2120 square 26 plus, uh, not plus, minus, uh, times 21 over 120. And so then uh, plus, okay, and uh, 41 minus, um, 94 times 47 over 120 square 94 times 47 over 120 plus 36 minus uh, 94 times 5220 square 94 times 5220 plus and the last one will be 17 minus uh, 94 times 21 over 220. Okay, yeah, you can see. Yeah, so this is, so basically we do the calculation for each of these uh, six cells and so add them together. So then you do the math and so you will get uh, the test statistic. Okay. So the value of the test statistic uh, will be uh, 4.8173, okay? So then uh, degrees of freedom. Degrees of freedom, so uh, will be uh, number of columns minus 1 times uh, number of rows minus 1. So in this table, and we have uh, number of columns yeah, uh, and the number of rows, essentially just the number of categories uh, for each of the variable. So uh, for size, has three levels, right? So basically three minus one. And for color, we have two levels, so two minus one, okay? So three minus one times two minus one, so the result is two. So degrees of freedom is, uh, is two. Okay, so then the p-value, uh, p-value will be the probability that k square uh, greater than or equal to 4.8173. Yeah, so this cannot be calculated by hand, right? And uh, so uh, using Excel, so this is 1 minus uh, chi square and uh, statistic 4.8173 degrees of freedom is 2 and 2, right? And so if you uh, run this in Excel, so the p-value is roughly 0.09, right? And so then you compare this with alpha uh, equal to 0 0.05, so this is greater than alpha. So then we fail to reject the non-hypothesis, and we will claim uh, so the color and size of marble uh, are independent. Okay.